This podcast is brought to you by the Alien Soda Company. Your connection to pop culture and paranormal themed merch. Alien Soda Company dot shop for all things out of this world. All right, today let's talk about the missing Malaysia Airlines flight 370 only on the Paranormal Mind podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome to. The- <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Paranormal Mind Podcast. We really appreciate you listening to us. I know it's a chore sometimes, but thank you for listening. We really appreciate you joining us today. And before we get started, hey, did you know that we have merch? <laughs> yeah, thank you to and- everyone who's bought a Ouija shirt because Shane didn't know they existed. Yeah, so we have a searchers believe, like, do you believe a Ouija sh- shirt on our website, searchersbelieve.com forward slash shop. <laughs> and I am not privy to these decisions until after the fact. So I have I had a couple of people show up in Virginia City at one of my events, and they were wearing a searcher shirt. And to my surprise, I had never seen it before. <laughs> It was a uh, a Ouija shirt, which is pretty cool. I was like, oh, man, that's cool as shit. Did you make it yourself? And they're like, uh, no, we got it from your website. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, I wish I would have known that. They were like looking at you like, what? How do you, how you not know this? So how do I not know? That's what that's my that's the problem. Sometimes life gets hectic and busy and I can't like update myself on the searchers.com website, searchersbelieve.com website. So it would be cool if I was privy to the these design decisions. <laughs> so what he, what that translates to is that you're just too busy for us. No. <laughs> if I was too busy for us, then <laughs> Shane wouldn't be here right now recording, oh, right? Whatever. You pulled up with your sunglasses on, your <laughs> fucking fingerless gloves <laughs> off. <laughs> this all is- right, moving on. <laughs> it was like, all right, enough of this. We're going to stop. Every, every time, this is what I'm saying is every time, <laughs> every time we'll have a conversation and, we'll, and we'll, we'll get into a discussion where I'm like, okay, communication would be great. And then it always ends with a tag team of Josh and Ray making fun of Shane. That's how it is every single time listen man you love it when we tag team (laughs) (laughs) no y'all love it when you tag team don't lie but anyway what what were you saying communication is good i agree yeah communication is key listen i'm sorry if you didn't know that's right i can't answer for why you didn't know but i'm sorry nonetheless because you didn't say bullshit (laughs) you just apologize saying that you didn't communicate yeah because clearly because i can see your side clearly you don't think that we did i distinctly remember saying man that is a dope ass shirt i want one was there an email there's probably a text message where is there look it up right now let's go ahead and do that before we jump into the episode and look sometimes we'll jump right in to the topic and sometimes we'll riff like this because some things are very important like this i right. want to know if i'm in the wrong or if somebody else is in the wrong. so while we're waiting how do you search for stuff in a message you just go to and the, search you go to <laughs> searchers believe.com oh here search. we go but what so, now? so while we're waiting who wants us to to just stick to the story and who doesn't want us to stick to the yeah, story that's a very good question like so if if you could, who it, likes it when we bullshit versus who, just talking yeah. about topic mainly? Um, we want your feedback because we will do. We will adjust based on the overall consensus. Right. So, like, because we do this for all of you. So, if you like it more, where we get more into the meat and potatoes of the topics, then we'll do that. If you like us being stupid like we normally do, then we'll do that. Yeah, I realized a few episodes ago I said meat and potatoes like four times. <laughs> I was like, why did I say? <laughs> You I were hungry. hungry. 
you were hungry. That's what it was. So we're still waiting on on that communication that I guarantee you is not there. But let's <laughs> go ahead. Manufacturing. He's editing a text message right now. <laughs> he's, Dude, uh, he's sending a text yeah. now. See, it's there, <laughs> bro. This was like last year, though. So I'm trying. Yeah, to this find was it. like that is what blows my mind, guys. Uh, or that's what you got to think about. Like it was like August. Number one, if I would have known that the shirt was there, I would have said, "Hey, I want a shirt. I'll give you mine." I mean, I can. Well, I, don't I don't know because. Know. You, because Sounds like we're out of when I was handing out that, that when I was handing out that <laughs> Alien Soda Company shirts, you were like, "Oh, this is yours, right? The extra large." It's like, dude, the audacity! <laughs> the not. audacity! Meanwhile, I wear an extra large. Yeah, like what's he? He's what? No, 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 no. And then Ray is like, "Oh, well, I thought Josh wore the large." I'm like, "What?" I just don't understand. Like, so what are you I'm, trying to say? No, what I'm trying is, to say that I'm fat and he's not. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> You're taller than me, you know. <laughs> you're taller. Okay, you're taller. No, it's, it's, it's I need fine. to take my foot out of my mouth. Yep. Yeah, just yep. shut you're, up. you're stuck. But now. anyway, where's that text? Okay, I'm, that's I'm what looking. I thought. I'm looking. So Malaysia. You're right. Exactly. Let's jump into this. Why you're still searching? It. And you can search until the episode's yeah. over. This is what searchers it. means: is we, <laughs> we spend <laughs> hours searching through searching text for oh, communication. I'm gonna find it now. Yeah, no, you're not Whoa, because it's not there. He probably edited the text chain and deleted it. Who? You. <laughs> what? Telepathy? Yeah, no, you probably paid Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I can't even get a check mark with paying. So, like, that's a whole other thing we'll talk about later. Let's talk about the missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. This was a passenger flight operated by Malaysia Airlines that disappeared on March 8, 2014. It was en route to the Kuala Lumpur International Airport to Beijing. Every uh, time we do an episode on, like, another country and you butcher these, I'm like, well, we're just, not going to have any fans yeah, in listen, France. Let, well, we're not going to have any fans in Russia. Just listen. Just give me some grace because, uh, you know, I can barely speak normally. So whenever I mispronounce these, it's just par for the course at this point. If I you can't listen, talk right. That's right. SDs, you know, I, I say all of that stuff. French fried potatoes. Yeah. So so the plane disappeared. Do you remember that? What? <laughs> we were filming and we were so bored. Oh, doing, you, were, you were imitating Sling yeah, Blade. I was doing and, yeah. Sling Blade impersonations. Oh, my God. God. Oh, it was great. It was great. It was entertaining because we had no other yeah. form of entertainment. Just sitting outside and I was going, can I get some fr- fried <laughs> and taters? <laughs> With some mustard. And, yeah. <laughs> Biscuits and mustard. Anyway, man, we always like deviate big time. So anyway, this plane disappeared. All of this happened, like I said, March 8th, 2014. It's crazy. It's already been almost yeah. 10 years. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So the, Bo- the Boeing 777 with the registration number 9M MRO was carrying 227 passengers and 12 crew members. The crew lost uh, communication with air traffic control about 38 minutes after takeoff while flying over the South China Sea. Just minutes later, the aircraft disappeared from the secondary surveillance radar screens of air traffic control. But the Malaysian military's primary radar system continued to track it for another hour, which I didn't know that at the time, yeah. which is strange. The plane deviated from its planned flight path and crossed the Malay Peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> Lord help me. That, you and can't even blame that on another. It's peninsula. Peninsula, whatever. Peninsula. Okay. <laughs> and a- Andaman Sea before leaving radar range 200 nautical miles northwest and northwestern peninsular Pal- <laughs> Malaysia. <laughs> y'all, y'all, please stop. I'm trying to get through this. Do you want to read it? <laughs> Would you rather read Go it? Ahead. I typed it all up. You're Do you want to read you're it? You're doing an outstanding Okay, job. thank so you. That's it, what I need. I need that positive I, reinforcement. Listen, here you go, all right? Uh-oh. Uh, here, here we go. Here it we go. ain't shit is what it, I It ain't. I don't see one. Okay, great. I'm sorry. What do you want from me? You, want, okay. you want a massage later, baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want a shirt. Well, I can't get you a large and a Ouija board shirt. I'll give it. I'll give you mine. No, it's okay. You no, can it's fine. It. No, it's good. You want to XL? I get it. I get it. I'm just a stepchild. No, because he'll get all offended if you try to give him an extra one. I'm the stepchild. Here, I get it. If there are larges, but judging by this There's alert not. I just it's got. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. It's whatever. Just don't tell me of new designs. It's okay. Well, that attitude. <laughs> I, uh, well, hell, it's not going to change anything. I'm still not getting communication, so it doesn't matter. With that attitude, what? You're still not going to communicate? What we should do is we should listen to all these podcasts, and we should just make a shirt that just says every word that Shane has ever not pronounced correctly. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and in the like same peninsula. And in the same we'll podcast, let him, we'll let them know that we <laughs> <laughs> y'all suck. In the same podcast, we'll list how many times y'all source the content. Ooh, ooh, zero. That's not our. That's not our so job. who wants a who wants a T-shirt with a big fat zero on it? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get going. Salty Shane's. Yeah, that's what it is. Hashtag here. Salty Shane. That's right. Yeah, that's going to be a new hashtag now. So There's Salty Shane right there. Yeah, you better shut your damn mouth right now. <laughs> let's not even talk uh, about that. We've already been through three episodes where we talked about it every single time. Yeah, hashtag, no, time. hashtag Salty Shane. I'm posting that on Instagram. As you as better as not, can. dude. You better not. Hashtag salty Shane. You better not. All right. So the plane deviated from its planned path. All passengers and crew were presumed dead. The disappearance of Flight 370 was the deadliest incident involving a Boeing 777 and the deadliest in Malaysia Airlines history until it was surpassed by Malaysia Airlines Flight 17. Still the same airlines, which is crazy, which was shot down over eastern Ukraine four months later on July 17, 2014. The is not Spirit Airlines. Yeah. Or uh, you become a spirit whenever you <laughs> whenever you fly yeah, spirit. South Af- southwestern lately too yeah. <laughs> my god yeah southwestern's more of the the cancellations but oh, spirit, yeah, spirit man it's, it's like it. delta is so far <laughs> ahead of everybody so, else so um again and we're deviating a little bit from the top <laughs> we're never gonna but, get out of this. but but i've got to, i've got to say this so spirit airlines you know why they're so cheap they get you with a really cheap ticket price but then they charge you out the ass for your carry-on bag right. yeah for or your checked bag, you don't get free check bag like Southwestern and all that. It ends up being the same amount if you would take Delta. Yeah. 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 Which is, that's how they hook you, but it's, everybody's you're still make paying that the dollar, same right? amount. You're still paying the same amount. <laughs> It's crazy. Anyway, back to the topic. The search for the missing plane became the most expensive search in the history of aviation. Initially, it focused on the South China Sea. A novel ana- analysis of the aircraft's automated communications with, an, with a satellite indicated that the plane had traveled far southward over the southern Indian Ocean. The lack of official information in the days immediately after the disappearance prompted fierce criticism from the Chinese public, particularly from relatives of the passengers, as most people on board Flight 370 were of Chinese origin. Mm. So uh, I I get it. Like the family's like, what the hell? You know, we need more information. What's going right. on? Where's our Where's our family? Yeah, this was you know? a big deal when it happened. Yeah, and it's still going on. Like there's yeah. still like documentaries and things mm-hmm. I know on Netflix and other platforms that they're still trying to. I mean, you would think it'd be pretty impossible to like disappear ha- just to have yeah. a plane disappear, man. Well, there's, there's there's bound to be something. I mean, we know. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. We, we work in this industry, so like the amount of work that goes into making sure these things are one super safe and two, and like, two, have if like, something happens, the investigation part of it is insane, man. Long and extensive, and like you are absolutely on the hook for everything. The fact that they didn't find any morsel, well, well, they did. <laughs> uh, so, and we'll get to that real quick. So, several pieces of debris washed ashore in the Western Indian Ocean during 2015 and 2016, many of which were confirmed to have originated from Flight 370. However, after a three-year search across 120,000 kilometers of ocean, failed to locate the aircraft. The Joint Agency Coordination Center heading the operation suspended its activities in January 2017. A second search launched in January 2018 by private contractor Ocean Infinity also ended without success after six months. So there was a few pieces of debris but other than that, like no other signs. Well, that's, crazy. that's what's crazy is like when there's a aviation disaster, they try to put the plane back together yeah. in order to find out what went wrong and why it crashed. So the fact that they didn't find enough pieces of the plane to figure out why it crashed is suspicious. Yeah, that's wild to me, man. They, and, I mean, it, and it's sad too. I mean, you it uh, it's over 200 people, yeah. 227 plus the crew that are just lost without a trace. It's unbelievable. How does that, how does that happen? Happen. Yeah, and yeah. so all of the families and stuff too. You think about the families like having to deal with that type of loss is just. I mean, crazy. these things have like black box recorders that have GPS linked to them, GPS linked to the plane. There's all kinds of like insane sensors to make sure this doesn't happen because air traffic has to watch all of this 
this stuff from all over the world, right? So, well, and y'all have experience on yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, like, anyway. this really should not happen. Yeah. So, there are various theories regarding the disappearance of Flight 370, and the Australian Transport Safety Bureau proposed initially that a hypoxia event was most likely was the most likely cause, although no consensus has been reached among investigators. Possible hijacking scenarios were also considered, including crew involvement and suspicion of the airplane's cargo manifest. The Malaysian Ministry of Transport's final report from July 2018 was inconclusive. It's wild. Okay, so so there were theories of okay, there was a hijacking, there was all, all right. of this stuff. It's just I don't I don't know. Like again, like you're talking about Ray, like there's no other evidence other than a couple of pieces of debris. That is yeah. that is bizarre. Like you said, there's extensive uh, research into these things and investigation whenever something goes awry like that. And so, even in the production of the plane, they go through great lengths to prevent stuff like this yeah. from happening. Uh, think about how many aircraft are in the air every day, all the time. There's and and we can see all of them. Yeah, we know where every plane is at all time. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, you really do. And I would normally say that yeah, hijacking sounds probable, but typically the people that do these kinds of hijacking say, hey, we have your plane. And what would, would what would be the motive? And otherwise, typically there would be enough time for the pilot to radio that in, like, hey, yeah. we're getting hijacked because like cockpits are locked. You can't just open the cockpit and go in there. Yeah, and and my question too is like one radar signal was discontinued, but then the military tracked it for over an hour after that, so right. there was no communication between Flight 370 and, and see, the military at all. There's I mean, other radar signals that are buried that they can't just switch right. off. These things yeah. can't be turned off. Nah, they nah, this is so not, so it shouldn't. There shouldn't be a scenario it where be virtually impossible. Where I mean, a flight yeah. is lost, right? Like no, this. because like we can we monitor planes and debris and everything in the sky nonstop. Like we know where everything is at all time. I yeah. mean I mean we really do think about it. We know where meteor meteors are at any given that time. Are like millions of miles away. All these planes, people don't realize it, but if we didn't do this, these planes would literally be crashing. Yeah, into we each have other to every there's day. a there's a communication between every plane and every tower and every airport and everything. I mean like everything is monitored twenty four seven nonstop. Everything is the drone that we uh use to record aerial shots yeah same thing yeah like it to. notifies me if it's in like a flight path or even has the potential of being yeah, it knows exactly they know yeah, exactly where you, it is if you lift it all the way up in the sky and it's all the way up there it could interrupt another yeah. plane and say path. that i take up you know plane down from it they can find it they can find out where i flew it last and you're going to jail yep it's crazy it's crazy man so the fact that it just vanishes is extremely bizarre yeah so so in the absence of definitive cause of disappearance, air transport industry safety recommendations and regulations citing Flight 370 have been intended mostly to prevent a repetition of the circumstances associated with the loss. These include increased battery life on underwater locator beacons, lengthening of recording times on flight data records and cockpit voice recorders, and new standards for aircraft positioning reporting over the open ocean. From this tragedy, I'm I mean, I guess they are improving certain protocols and stuff like that to try yeah. to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. I mean, that's that's how they do it. That's exactly what they do. Every time there's an every time there's an incident that involves like aviation, they take what happened and the root cause of that, and they increase their monitoring or their whatever of the monitoring the instructions and processes yeah. in place to well, make sure that <clears throat> you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, well, because we, look we at the know, blowback. Look at the blowback. Oh, of course. Right. Yeah. We know from. Experience. Yeah, been there, so, done that. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's another reason why I wanted to talk about this because I know that your background that you can't really discuss in detail, <laughs> yeah. uh, just contractually, you're not able to. Right. But I know your background yeah. and your knowledge. We of it, know so, what happens right. when something goes wrong. We know everything that happens from the moment that problem happens to the end of that investigation. Yep. We we've, we've seen it all transpire. So these we, are yeah, like you're, year you're long the reports. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're if something happens, if something it. happens in 2014, they don't. They don't know everything until four or five years later. They literally, they, they investigate nonstop. We yeah. document every single thing we do. So there are various sightings reported by the news media of an aircraft that was believed to be the missing Boeing 777. These sightings were reported by witnesses such as fishermen, an oil rig worker, and people on a certain island. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. Nope. <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> no. Let me see what uh, it is. Okay. Let me see. It's uh, third... 
sentence down that it starts. That one? Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, which one? The one that starts with a K? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I'm not even trying. Yeah. It's yeah. the Maldives. Right. Yeah. We'll just go with that. Cuda. Yeah. Cuda huda buda. Right. <laughs> Cuda huda So so one fisherman claimed to have seen a low flying aircraft off the coast of Kota Baru. Yeah, but half of these fishermen also see mermaids, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. What do they really uh, know? Yeah, what do they know? While an old rig worker southeast claimed to have seen a burning object in the sky leading to a search and rescue mission by Vietnamese authorities. Indonesian fishermen also reported witnessing an aircraft crash near the Malacca Strait. Three months later, a British woman sailing in the Indian Ocean claimed to have seen an aircraft on fire, according to the Daily Telegraph. Three, three months, months later? Three months later. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so, so. So I think sometimes some of these reports are fabricated. Three no. months later, unless it was another aircraft that, right. you know. It's not going to be on fire for three months. Right. What do you think happened? So, of course, uh, from your background that you can't really talk about too much, and because of the knowledge of normally we're able to trace this a little bit better. Right. Right. What uh, and no, I don't want. I don't want you to just say aliens. It was aliens. But but what do you think? based do you, on what I know? Do you do you think it could have been? <laughs> do you think it could have been um, malfunction of multiple things on the plane and the plane just got lost at sea or what? Dude, I'm gonna tell you this is like one of those like weird stories where you don't really know because everything that you would assume the fact that they lost communication for that long before anything happened usually if they they lose communication there's like a panic but like no black box was recovered the plane was just there's a few pieces that showed up but the rest of the plane was gone i mean it's a lot of extenuating circumstances it's more or less it almost seems like the plane landed and yeah. they made up a bull crap story whole conspiracy of- yeah because like a few pieces making it to shore is more suspicious than nothing making it to shore right but 227 people just unaccounted for and never reaching out, never communicating with their family ever again. So, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody survived. I'm just saying right. that I don't think that it was just like a... So you think possibly it could have been a hijacking where they did land and then they did whatever they did yeah, to whatever. The I don't know what happened after, but it just doesn't seem like a regular plane, an aviation If it were disaster. a hijacking, then they people have gone through great lengths to suppress yeah. whatever communications they had there and made up some whole new story about yeah. how it's just, or just missing. it could be like that show Manifest in this plane will show back up well, in like I, 10 well, years. That's what I was thinking too or like a Bermuda Triangle type yeah, situation right. where it just disappears. Yeah, because there's all the vile I mean like depending on where this plane was I mean you've got all the vile vortices because it's not just a Bermuda Triangle that's an issue. Yeah. There's Was there like 21 or 23 different mm-hmm. areas vortexes. of Earth? The vortexes they're called the vile vortices and uh, each one of them is like like a hot spot like yeah. the Bridgewater Triangle yeah. um, the one in Mexico They all for- follow like a radial yeah. coordinate path to a Around the They're whole, all exactly whole world. like. What do you think that is? I think it could be some kind of electromagnetic phenomenon yeah. and and something that in science we can't just it's like readily sort of, explain. Yeah, some sort now. of like electrical geographical phenomenon. anomaly. Yeah. yeah, I I mean I think it probably exists because there's like the Devil's Triangle out there in China. That's one of them is over there somewhere near China. China. I think there is yeah. an environmental Maybe it's the Devil's Triangle. I don't know an environmental China. shift where these points are that are allowing for all these other paranormal. Right occurrences to happen. Because, I mean, that's always been my theory of Bigfoot is that he's just kind of phasing in and out, and that's why we can't get a good picture of him because he's not of this dimension. And I I think that it's just outside of our understanding and a scientific platform. Yeah, and our mind goes wild with, with all of this, especially whenever there's no evidence of this plane. There's a couple of pieces of debris, but what yeah. else are we... Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it could be in the bottom of the sea, yeah. but still, like you said, no black box was recovered, so... It it could have phased into another dimension. Yeah, these are this is one of these situations for us. It's like, okay, so we know that we know the technology, we know the science behind the amount of work that goes into making sure that this stuff doesn't happen. So it is just as equally likely that it could have just I mean, there was that story of blipped that, into another dimension. There was I a mean, story of that like that's World where War, we are. There was a World War II plane or something like that that was flying that like went through some storm and then like landed on an island that was abandoned. And it was an 
abandoned base, but when he landed, it was like fully functional. Then he like took off again and then like went through this storm and then it was like abandoned again. Like he went through some sort of like time slip or whatever. Uh, and I want to kind of tell people, you know, we talked about spirit and about their quality and, and, and this, this and that, but here's the reality. We were flying planes that were made out of wood well and, before yeah. any of this and going to war with, with said planes. And so even the lowest technology today is better than anything yeah. that we had at the beginning of you know flight this really shouldn't happen yeah there's no reason why aviation incidents and, should happen and these as... planes these international planes are giant they're giant there'd be no mistaking if somebody saw it going down in a ball of fire or in the water there'd be no mistaking what it was and the fact that there's not a clear eyewitness account or there's not clear signal of what happened is yeah. why this is one of the greatest mysteries right now in in recent years of missing persons i mean 227 I mean, yeah. plus the crew it I goes mean, against everything that we know should even be capable of happening and and so that leads you to believe that it could be i mean it's equally as plausible that it could be something paranormal aliens i mean yeah, it, it's it, aliens it, it's always aliens it's always. <laughs> i don't uh, you know we always joke about that and i don't always just say that uh, well that could possibly be it but this could really it could be something stranger it's a bizarre case i, I will tell you that statistically speaking the odds of this happening in this day and age because it wasn't that long ago that this happened right it is very 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 slim maybe we'll never know hopefully we'll find some answers in the future but it's definitely a, a crazy case but anyway before we get going again want to shout out our newest sponsor alien soda company for all things out of this world for all things out it's of this the, world it's on the shirt yeah so you see the shirt right behind josh um, and if you don't see the shirt subscribe to patreon right and there then you, you can go. you can there see you the go. shirt oh that's right not everybody can right. see the they shirt can only hear us if Patri- you if you are listening to this podcast and you can see the shirt betterhelp.com <laughs> <laughs> that that or you're gifted and contact yeah. us contact yeah. us <laughs> but so we pa- want to hear from you it's yeah. patreon.com forward slash searchers believe if you want to watch the video version of our podcast plus behind the scenes perks and stuff like that that you get you can join us on certain episodes and stuff like that yeah. really cool yeah. stuff but again support our sponsor alien soda company get you some merch from alien soda company and use the code searchers at checkout you'll get 10 percent off a really good discount and maybe get, we'll have a collaboration with them and we won't tell shane about it <laughs> yeah, no. yeah yeah they'll make a design uh, and and three years later uh, i'll be like oh hell i didn't even know that cool happened. shirt where'd you get it from? <laughs> yeah. which you know what that's not far-fetched given our recent communication uh mishaps <laughs> oh my god uh, but yeah go support alien soda company please you know if you feel like monetarily supporting us go to our patreon patreon.com com forward slash searchers believe if you're unable to do that just sharing our stuff letting people know about the paranormal mind podcast about our youtube episodes the paranormal yeah. mind which I, I get that could be a little confusing but we have the paranormal mind series and then we have the podcast talking about everything we go and research and and film so yeah like follow subscribe share whatever you can do yeah it helps regardless of what it is if it's if it's uh, monetarily that's awesome if it's not, you sharing is, is just as valuable for us. Yep. And we really appreciate you regardless of what you're able to do at this point of your life. I mean, it, we appreciate you no matter what. We appreciate that y'all are a part of the journey with us, your fellow searchers. Absolutely. Fellow searchers on this journey with us. And we really appreciate you more than you know. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Paranormal Mind Podcast. And until the next one, searchers out. See ya. Goodbye. <laughs>